For a long time, natural was touted as safe. And this belief grew firmer when the pandemic began testing people's immunity. Herbs such as ashwagandha and giloy quickly made to kitchen shelves as immune boosters because many believed herbal medication won't harm if not cure. But is it true? Let's listen to an expert. So during the COVID pandemic, we have seen people becoming very conscious about their health and trying to boost their immunity. And while doing so, sometimes in their over enthusiasm, they tend to consume things on their own without the advice of a proper doctor or physician. Any herb or any alternative medicine or any complementary medicine when taken without proper advice and taken in excessive amounts can actually cause damage to the liver. In 2013, dietary supplements containing 1,3-dimethylamine, often considered as a natural stimulant, led to cardiovascular problems including heart attacks. Since many people turned to unprescribed herbal medication, we asked Dr. Shukla if he came across any severe case related to herbal medication. So, uh, I had this young guy around uh, in late uh, 30s who was living in Bombay. But uh, during the lockdown, he went to his native place and there uh, he read some uh, formulae on, online and decided to prepare his own uh, you know, mix of herbal things. He prepared it and started consuming it. And uh, he then presented to us with uh, progressive uh, liver failure. Well, fortunately, he stopped uh, and uh, required ICU care. And gradually, over a period of uh, almost a month, he started recovering. So, so uh, I think that was one of the big learning experience for me that... Uh, that many of these things which people prepare on their own or try on their own, which is not, uh, not authenticated, I think it is uh, very dangerous. Dr. Shukla also shared tips on how to keep your liver healthy, what to include in your diet and what to give up for healthy being. In order to keep your liver healthy, we need to be very disciplined in the type of food that we eat. We should normally be eating food that is rich in proteins, but you also need some amount of fat, especially what we call as essential fatty acids, which are present in almonds, walnuts, and uh, in dairy products. Additionally, we should also be consuming complex carbohydrates and avoiding simple carbohydrates like uh, sugar and jaggery and uh, fruit juices. 